Hi design thinkers, my name's Matthew Sear, and today we're jumping into Figma, and we're going to be covering three fun, crazy tips and tricks that we can do with tileable textures, animated GIFs, and then combining them into styles. So, if you'd like to learn more about how to create animated surfaces in Figma, or if you'd like to know a little bit more about how to set up some tileable patterns, then you are in the right place. Sit back, relax, and let's jump into the video. All right, here we are inside of Figma. You can be able to find this in the description box below. We have our loading screen little demo. We will be able to create the ability for you to have basically a animated surface and you can have those tileable textures all wrapped up in a single asset. We're going to be using this in fun and different ways as well. You know, for example, we have a actual outline and it has that line scan across it. We will be able to have our tileable textures where we can just drag this out and there we go. We actually continue to have that repeating texture. We're going to be turning these tileable textures into also some styles. So how did we get this to happen? Well, first of all, we need a couple of tileable textures. So over here, you'll be able to find a couple that I put together. You can use these or you can create your own. There are some fun little tricks to this. If we think about a tileable texture, they just repeat continuously. So let's think about some patterns that we can create and what's the smallest little item of that pattern. And now a nice little one we can set up is we make a singular frame just like this here where I can, for example, I'll grab my frames. I can just drag that frame out and let's just set that frame to whatever size that I'd like it to be. You can even start pretty small and then we can grab like a rectangle or you can grab another frame completely up to you. And really in the end to get the dot pattern that we actually have here, I can actually just take this down and there we go. If I right click, I can actually go over here and I can go and copy it as a PNG. And as I do so, now instantly I have this simple little image. It's got an alpha background. It's got a little white dot. And if I go to my image, I can go from here and I can go to tile. And as soon as I set it to tile, I actually as well have this percentile and I can crank this percentile up or down. If I, let's say, make it smaller, what it will do is it will make it 25% of its original size, or I could make it 100% of the original size. 50% is pretty decent. It doesn't really matter, but you will notice the difference as soon as we grab this and I can hold shift and I can just drag it out. And now I instantly have my tileable texture here and I can basically just turn into a style and I can be able to reuse this again and again. For example though we've noticed that like at the top there we have this line maybe we don't want that. So we can if we want for example here this is only two pixels by two pixels. So if I drag this down one and drag it across I make sure my frame as well has clipping. I can now grab this and I can drag this into the corner. I can grab the other corner and I can drag that one up as well. And I can make sure that that sits in the corner there and there, which means that if I copy this again, turn it into another PNG and then I use my tiling I can scale this back out and now they will be in all of the corners like so which is pretty handy and I can continue to drag this out as much as I like let's set that back to my 220 by 220 and I can use this as an actual image now I have got this image up the top here and I'm going to turn this into a style because I can actually choose to go to the four little dots 
and I can go and I can add a style and I can call this my tiling dot. Now I have a tiling dot texture, which means that if I want anything, I can go over down over here and I could literally just choose that tiling dot texture that I have and I can apply that to my asset. So I can grab that, go to my textures. See that one not well, but there we go. We have that texture. Now, maybe I want to edit this and I definitely do. So let me go into here. Now I can go to edit and I can actually, for example, um, add in either another color or if I wanted to even have a color in the background, maybe I wanted to make sure that it actually comes with a color. Now I can add that color in to my tileable texture. And I can also add in any sort of variables if I want by assigning this and then going to my variable library. At the moment, I don't have any specific variables. I guess I have this brand one right there I could potentially use. And that will allow me to have whatever I have inside of my collection. I have this now new tileable texture that I can just use time and time again, which is fantastic. Now we have an idea. We'd be able to set up this dot pattern. And it's interesting enough, how do we create this? So right here, I have this scan line that comes across. It highlights little dots and it basically has this really nice kind of dark background. So the way that I can set something like this up would actually be to do the inverse of my tiling texture, which means that I'll need to find a very simple way to do an inverse. So what I've done is I've done different types of textures across here, and I would actually recommend you feeling free to play around with these different versions. You'll find ones that give you lines. You'll find ones that give you grids different dots, different scan lines, have a play with the patterns that we got, but we're going to move to this simple pattern right here so that we can have this animated part as well. Over here, I've got my dot, but you'll notice that I fill the background. I have this black and then I actually have the alpha, which is the see-through part of it come through, which means that if I turn this into a tileable texture. So we're going to go copy paste and make it a PNG. I can click over here. I can now make it tileable. And now, as you can see, it kind of is see through in the background, which is perfect. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create an animated scan line, right? This one right here. And what's going to take place is that this is in front of this line. So I'll just bring, we need to bring this in, drag that over here, grab that, paste that. There we go. And as this is in front of this, this will slide behind it. And it gives you that appearance that the dots themselves are lighting up. And that's all that we're doing. And we're just making a very big scan line and it's just moving behind this sheet. So how do we actually create one? Well, there's many different ways to create some GIFs uh, inside of Figma. I'm going to be using a particular plugin. I'm going to open up and I'm going to be using this one. And I've already created this tiling actual pattern. So that's great. And I will be able to grab and open up that project. And all that I've done in this project is I've created this as it moves from left to right. But let's just go back to the dashboard and we're going to start from scratch. We're going to click this and open this. And I'm going to just basically open up and create a brand new project. It will pop up with a brand new project in my browser. Now I can use this to then create this scan line. So I'm going to select my object to create this. It's just a 
a block with a gradient. You can either create one with a gradient with a divide in between, or you can create two sides. Like, we'll it's just creating a gradient. This tool is really fun. It's got a lot of different types of animations. We can get into a lot more about animation uh, in future videos. If you're interested to learning more about uh, tools like this one and animation, etc., uh, let me know in the description box below. But what we're going to do here is we're going to go up the top. I'm just going to center that. So this little dot's in the center. That's the origin point where most of the moving and scaling and adjusting will take place. And I can grab this object and I can make sure what I can do is to set a actual position. So I'm going to go over here. I got my X and I got my Y and these are my positions and I can set my position like there. And then this position, I would like for it to actually be further off to the side. And if I select it, you see that I've selected a little dot down the bottom. That's called my keyframe. I can drag this across. And as I do so, it's outside the boundaries, which is fantastic. And I'm going to go to the opposite side. Simply enough, I'm just going to drag it the other way. Like so. And there we go. Now, you don't need to be 100% perfect but you can kind of tweak this and adjust this. Now, the best part about this tool is that it also kind of gives you a rough idea uh, with these little dots about how it's moving over time. It's using a curve in this example. So if I was to press play, it starts off slow, it speeds up and then slows back down, basically uses an ease in and an ease out. So if you do want to adjust, the way that this is animating, then you're going to have to adjust the curve of this animation. So what we can do is we'll be able to go over and across to this. You'll notice that there is also some other fun effects and different ways you can animate this and so on. We should be able to click onto that position and then over on the side, you'll notice that there is the curves and then you can choose different types of curves. I'm just going to leave this one as is. It works and it looks nice and it eases in and eases out. So that works perfectly fine for me. But if you do want to adjust it, you can adjust the curves and that's where you do it. Now, since this is pretty much done, all that we need to do here is just to export it out. We can export it out either as a video or we can do it as a GIF. But you'll need to be either a video or a GIF for it to be working in Figma. We will put it out as just a video because it has a better quality overall. And because I can see there we are, we got that one downloaded. I'm just going to drag this little video clip into my project. And here we go. So if I was to just put a frame around that and I was to just preview it, I will be able to see that it eases in and then it eases out. So I'll be able to select the actual video. And there's some fun things that you can do with the video. You can even make the video tile itself, which is pretty fun. So if, like, for example, if I did want to make the video tile, let's open this up. It may not look the best, but just so you understand some crazy fun things you could potentially start to look at doing is setting up some actual fun tiling animated GIFs and textures. So I'd love to see what you can come up with. Let me know and feel free to share some of your crazy uh, creations in the comments box below. And so now we've got this over here. I'm going to actually still remove that tiling because I don't want it to. I'm just going to make it fit. But I do have that actual texture, which I can copy again. I'll paste that, turn this into a tiling. I'm going to grab this video. I'm just going to move the 
actual video over here. So we're going to press plus and we're going to actually upload our video. We're going to grab and drag that video into here with our scan line. So I can play it. I can see that it's got that scan line in there. You can see that I've also got this tiling texture on the top. Now I have this one to fit and I also have underneath here and this one is tiling and I can drag that texture be beneath it and what I can do and get rid of that actually now I don't really need that one I can actually now I can put a frame around this first and I can play it and there we go we can kind of see something going on so what I can do is I can select this and I can turn it into an actual style which I can go over the top here I can press my plus button and I can call this like Adam BG for just background and now I have this animated background I can go into my actual library I can find that animated background over there for example we can get rid of that don't really need that anymore and I can just add a frame and I can preview my frame there we go and now we've had created basically our animated texture inside of Figma we have this and we can apply it to anything that we want I can edit it as well I can make sure that that of course is completely visible like so there we are so now we can chuck that into the background of our uh, loading animation and now we end up with our fun tiling animated textures with our different types of surfaces all done inside of Figma and we can reuse these everywhere so overall that's how you can set up yourself a tiling an animated texture and create a style so I hope that this has been something fun and creative you let me know all the crazy things that you can do with tileable textures inside of figma uh, in the description box below please like comment and subscribe and until next time design thinkers keep thinking keep creating keep building amazing things and i will see you all in the next video all right